Hey folks, so tried to test some uh, software out and it didn't work out the way I wanted it to. <laughs> so let's stick to something that I know that works for now until I learn a little bit more. So let's play some Hogwarts and let's see how much further I can get into the story. I think I'm pretty far along but I'm not entirely sure just how far along I am. All I know is I want to have some fun. All right, so let's break open the map. Let's check the quests. Headmistress speaks. Okay. Speak funny. Cool. All right, let's go talk to Natty and her mama. <laughs> I guess she'd be in the divination classroom. All right, and the game just died on me. <laughs> what is going on today? Oh, well, the Star Citizen update is almost 100% loaded. I think that's what happened. <laughs> Alrighty, yes, sir. <laughs> Try and uh, start the game up again real quick. <laughs> hey, Star Citizen is now updated and it's ready to go. <laughs> uh. Okay. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> That's loading up. I'm going to go ahead and put my uh, Discord. Create a little invite. So if you want to chit chat with me, you may. Now that I've got Star Citizen uh, updated, perhaps we'll be good to go. So yeah. I think what happened was I was uh, trying to multitask too much. And yeah, Star Citizen is a very demanding game and updating that game while trying to stream Hogwarts Legacy may have been a bit uh, taxing on my computer. So yeah, I'll look at that. It's going much smoother now. Okay, that's the problem. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> All right. be some PvP time with uh, Star Citizen because all the pirate player factions have now declared they're raising the red flag which means no mercy they're just gonna blast you and your ship to itty bitty pieces and pick up the scraps and sell it so hey <laughs> threaten me with a good time all right Hi, Divination Classroom. 
so I look forward to the amount of Wild West shenanigans that's about to go on. I look forward to it. Okay. Divination classroom. I'm guessing... <clears throat> This is where the next mission is. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Quests. Speak with Natty. All right, Natty, where are you at? Where are you at, Natty? Oh, you're in the Great Hall. Okay. I would imagine she'd be with her mother in the divination classroom, but let's go ahead and talk with Natty. I'm going to have fun. How nice to see you, my young friend. Oh, look at that. It is the winter season, Christmas time. This is the main dining hall of Hogwarts, and there's the table for Ravenclaw, Slytherin, Gryffindor, and last but not least, Hufflepuff. Although a lot of people would call them ah, least. I have been meaning to speak with you. I still can't believe we escaped the Ashwinders. You may not realize it, but you are the talk of the school since you saved me that day. I wonder how everyone knows about it. I told my mother in the hope that she would be more forgiving of what I have been up to if it came from me. She likely told other professors, and news travels quickly. Unfortunately, she might, in fact, have been even less forgiving than I'd hoped. If she knew more about what you've done, I suspect she'd be proud. If she knew any more about what I've done, she would never let me out of her sight again. <laughs> I'm sorry. Has Officer Singer done anything with the evidence we provided? She has not. Hollow is as strong as ever. Someone needs to stop him, whether it is us or Officer Singer. If someone had stopped the monsters like him in Matabililand, my father would be alive today. What exactly happened to your father? It was a beautiful day. My mother had gone to tend to a neighbor who was ill, and so my father and I were galloping in the savannah. Galloping? Your father was also an animagus, I take it. He could become the most majestic giraffe. And he would carry me on his back, my arms around his neck. We were on our way home when we surprised a group of bandits who had come from our village. One of them saw me just as he removed a scarf from his face. He shouted and then aimed his rifle. He didn't want you to identify him. Exactly. In an instant, my father bowed his neck to protect me and was hit. As he fell, my father changed back into his human form. When the bandits saw this, they turned and ran in fear. Magic terrified them, and then he was gone. <sighs> and it was all my fault. Dang. Your fault? How so? He died protecting me. If I had been capable of protecting myself, you were he a little kid, man. Today. Good grief. My mother and I tried to go on without him, but it became too much for us there. A few years later, we left to come to Scotland. Do you think your father would approve of the things we've been doing? Oh, my. That is a good question. In theory, yes. Although he would worry, as my mother does. But I think he, of all people, would understand my persistence. My father never shied away from a fight for good, no matter how ruthless the foe. And I think he would have enjoyed knowing that I had a compatriot like you. What does your mother think about all of this? Well, as you saw, she worries a great deal. She is an excellent seer, but I think it bothers her to this day that she did not see my father's death coming. She misses him, as do I. So I believe on some level she understands my need to seek justice in a small way. But that does not mean that she likes it. Do you think taking down the Ashwinders will avenge your father's death? 
No. Vengeance is not what drives me. My father would not want that. He, and my mother, raised me to believe that it is a privilege to be able to fight for those who cannot. I know there is risk involved, but I feel it is worth it. <laughs> I am glad you seem to think so too. I'm sorry, Natty. I can't imagine what you've been through. Your father sounds exceptional. He was. Truly extraordinary. And thank you for your kind words. We all have our burdens. My father had a saying about that. Yes, I remember. Rain does not fall on one roof alone. Exactly. Soon you and I will put an end to the Ashwinders, beginning with Harlow. And once he is gone, we will turn our attention to Rookwood. We are making progress, and we will succeed. Thank you again for saving me. You deserve all of the praise you have received. Revelio. Yeah, but I'm kind of a borderline sociopath. <laughs> Hang on a sec. Confringo! Okay, can't light the torches. Alright. Yeah, it's just wondering. Gryffindor. And then that statue is Hufflepuff. Got Slytherin statue and Ravenclaw statue. That's cool. I love the world that J.K. Rowling created, and I love how much attention and care this studio has given to it. I wonder. Good for you. Can't like those ones either. Okay. And apparently, they all still have an even amount of points for the uh, school year. This one's for my house. Okay. I love these seasonal decorations. Okay, so let's see what else. I need to get more of those. Okay, sky's limit. I know that this is uh, the main quest. I want to go ahead and world map it. How interesting. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. Good thing I already uh, wandered through this whole area last play session. <laughs> Let's do this little flight challenge. Hi. Everything all right? Far from it. I wandered into a ruin and was attacked by spiders. Oh, I don't like spiders. If you've got some Wiganweld potion, though, I'm sure that would put me right. Sure. Spiders do tend to appear in ruins. Here, I have enough to spare. Stay away from the ruins, though. You've saved me life. Oh, I can never repay you. Yes, yes, I shall stay away from them. You'll see. Must stay away from ruins with spiders. Ruins with spiders. Mm, yep. Oh, and thank you. Please accept this token of my appreciation. Oh, he gave me a thunder brew. That's cool. I know what that means. Merlin trial. Oh, let's do this real quick. Okay, what do we got? Defender. 
Bovada. Out of range. Confringer. Hmm. Is it just contact? Or is it reparo? Oh, it's reparo. Reparo. Okay. Reparo. Reparo. And Reparo. This murder trials won't get the best of me. We that one was easy. All right. All right. Let's do that uh, challenge. Speak with Amilda. Pop. Hey, hey, Emilda. The course looks rather deserted. I hope everything's all right. Ravenclaw, over here. What's Hello up? again, Amelda. This course is a bit far from the castle, isn't it? Obviously. Evidently too far for most of our classmates. Pathetic. They should be begging me to keep these trials alive, not running scared. I'm surprised our new fifth year showed up. I suppose I appreciate the effort. That's actually, thank you. I know I can be impatient, but I get frustrated by those who don't take things as seriously as I do. And in my experience, that's everyone. Anyway, don't let it go to your head. Right then, enough chatter. I'm confident I've posted a time you won't be able to be. We'll soon see how I fare, won't we? I'm ready. Get ready to lose, Ravenclaw. <laughs> okay. Oh, cool. She's got a dummy flying Maybe. inside. Oh, I know this area. <laughs> I wonder, did I hit that one or miss it? Oh, I'm playing terribly this time. Okay. <laughs> now that's more like it. Uh, 
not going to make it this time. But let's just do the best I can. <laughs> this is awful. Uh, wrong button. No. That wasn't too difficult. Uh, just shy. It's okay. Let's give it another go. Let's do it again. Wasn't hoping for that. Not to worry. You'll have to do better than that if you want to top my time. This course is all about testing your ability to focus. Each turn requires a decision. Make one, then commit to it. Imelda Reyes, are you giving the competition advice? I wouldn't call it that, no. Just chatter between friends, that's all. <sighs> now, care to try again? Absolutely. Let's do it. I'm ready. Thank you, Imelda. Of course. Get out there. <laughs> All right, we got it this time. <laughs> Pretty flying, if I do say so myself. whether if I'm going to eat it or not. Yes, sir. Let's get moving. Oh, oh. That wasn't too difficult. Okay, I'm doing a little bit better this time. I think I got it. Oh, I missed. That was bad. I'm really gonna have to do better now. This is going <laughs> well. And I really, I'm not doing that good. Gotta put focus, focus, focus. Ah! <laughs> uh, falling apart, baby. <laughs> uh, garbage! I'm flying like garbage! <laughs> what are you doing, dude? Made it. Brilliant. Made it. Oh, did anyone else see that? <laughs> that was garbage. That was garbage. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, I that was quite something. Met the conditions of the challenge. Impressive work today, but don't get too comfortable. I'll be on your heels in no time. My family's not going to believe the news when I tell them. They're almost as competitive as I am. Almost. Will you keep running these courses? I'll race them myself. <laughs> Don't want to get rusty. But I won't be dealing with time trials. You're welcome to run them too. Anyway, hope we find time to fly again soon. 
I take it you want to play for a team, but which one? And which position? I'm my father's girl. A chaser through and through. You'd know that if Black hadn't cancelled Quidditch this year. As for a team, it's the holy head harpies I've always dreamt of. When I'm finished with school, I'll try out. If for some reason I don't get accepted, I don't know what I'll do. Herbology, perhaps? Because if that did happen, <laughs> you might as well pop me and call me a mandrake. I'd never stop screaming. Do you get your competitiveness from your family? You could say that. My grandfather played Quidditch for Puddlemere United. And my father, well, he was a chaser for Slytherin, but had to stop after a curse took his knees out. Said it was the Gryffindor beater. And me, I fell in love with flying the first time I saw the ground disappear beneath my feet. Something about the freedom you feel on a brim. I've not been able to stop since. That's cool. It's been fun competing against your records, Imelda. It has been fun. Glad you're here. Fifth year. Not bad for a Ravenclaw. You take care of yourself. She's all right. I should let Mr. Weeks know that this was his best upgrade yet. I'll just be Rebellion. Oh, interesting. Okay. Let's go to Hogs Mead. Report. And yeah. my favorite test flyer it was good dude so those ones I don't care about thanks for stopping by hope to see you again hello again mr. weeks I set a new record at the south course fantastic your broom performed well then the best upgrade yet it flew beautifully incredibly nimble but with the speeds it now reaches, I can feel the wind catching beneath the seat a bit, preventing it from reaching its full potential. Of course! Should have anticipated that! Exactly the kind of report I've come to expect from you! At last, I think I know what needs to be done for my final upgrade! Alright! I shall look forward to speaking again. I'll be sure to send you an hour when I'm finished. Thank you again for your help. Cool. Couldn't have done this without you. Anytime, my dude. Anytime. <sighs> good for Mr. Weeks. Mr. Weeks and I do make a good team. Gonna revolutionize brooms, baby. I think I've already raided that place. I love these Christmas decorations. Nice. So yeah, uh, tomorrow for sure I'll be streaming Star Citizen. I just got the uh, update downloaded, but I also know on the day of whenever a patch gets released, everybody and their dog is on and server issues abound. Like big time. So I'm just going to hold my horses until tomorrow morning and I'll just, uh, you know, get started then. All right. Now, about that main quest, I think don't have very many moons to give to the guy. So let's go here, map room time, and let's get the main story mission going.
Okay, cool. Professor, I have news. The goblins are looking for something. Another repository. They've built drills to help with their search. Oh, most troubling. Are these repositories like the broken container I found at Rookwood Castle? They are. I fear we have no time to lose. Have a look at the map. Fortunately, the next trial is fairly nearby. It's Hogwarts. As you know, I was headmistress in my time. My portrait hangs in the headmaster's office. In fact, I witnessed Professor Black learn of your arrival. And I'll confess that I wondered about you. Wait, is the next trial in the headmaster's office? It is. I had hoped that when the time came, the occupant of that office would be of help to us. Unfortunately, this headmaster seems wildly unconcerned with anything but himself. You'll need to access the office while he's away. I understand. Very well. I'll find some way to get in. Good. I shall meet you in my portrait there. Until then. Oh boy. I get to break into uh, the headmaster's office. I'm truly awed by what we've accomplished. The final broom upgrade is better than even I expected. Stop by spin witches when you can. You got it. Let's go there right now, because I have a feeling it might help me fly high enough to get into the tower. That would be great. If not, I have to pick the lock or something. So let's see if this uh, final broom upgrade will help. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased. I think this is the store, right? Here it is. Oh, hello again. Couldn't have perfected the broom upgrades without your help. As always, I have a special prize. All right, there. low on cash. Nice doing business with you. So even remotely enough. Okay. Yep, now I've got enough for it. Nope. I'll be right back. Thanks for stopping by. I'll go sell some of my Thunder again. Brew potion. That should get me enough money. Because I've got no shortage of those things. Where's the potion guy? Where's the potion shop? It's around here somewhere. That's the animal shop. Spring up the map. Potion shop, where you at? There we go. Yeah. This is why you use those little markers. It's easy to uh, get lost in these places. Aha. Hello there. In the market for potions, are we? Yeah, sure. Oh. Nothing I can sell to him. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Okay. Well then. Um. I've already sold all that. Oh. Yeah, I have a few extra animals in my inventory. Let's sell those, and that should get me enough for that broom upgrade. Hopefully. I could be wrong. I think I've already organized all that, so... Hmm. Hmm. Come in! Sorry if there's a smell. New batch of toad hide. Yep. I'll not mind seeing you here again. 800 gold welcome. short. That final upgrade. So, Revelio. Okay. I 
can find another one of those bouncy chests with the eyeballs on them. Nope, that's level three. I don't have level three. Oh, I know what this place is. Did I want to say... Rebellion. Nope. I've already raided this place. Darn. Well then. Well, well, well. Ollivander's finest wands. Revelio. Just let me know if there's something in particular you're looking for. Oh, that's cool. I had no idea. Now I can get to the treasure chest up right here. Now, dummy guys. Rebellion. Okay, there's a demi guys close by. But I don't physically see it. Okay, it's there. It's in the next building over. Where is it? Okay, is it in that building? Take your time looking about. Plenty of wonderful books to stoke a curious mind like yours. Oh yeah, I am very curious. I'll be taking that. Thank you. Okay, I need a few more of those. Hey, let's, let's look talk. at what we have, shall we? Okay. Let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. Nah, man, you cool. You are a okay. Revelio. Need a few more of those demi guises. Hi. I'll just be taking a little bit of cash. Two gold coins. I'm closer already. Rebellion. Okay. Need to find some cash. Some more demi guises. That would be greatly helpful. I see some of y'all are lurking and just chilling in the chat. Thanks for stopping by. Hope you're doing wonderful. Don't forget, like and subscribe. If you want, recommend me to a friend. Rebellio. I shall do the best I can to entertain. Okay. A little bit of money. Need a lot more money, though. Maybe a demi guys. 
Oh, a little wad of cash right there. Rebellion. All right, looking for demi guys. Hi, my dude. No demi guys. Okay. What about in here? Demi guys? Demi guys? Money and demi guys. That's what I need. Oh wow! Never noticed that before. That's awesome. Rebellion. There's no more demi guys in here. I think I've rated Hogsmeat as far as I can rate it. I don't think there's much else. Come in. Sorry if there's a smell. New batch of toad hide. You good? You got nothing to apologize for, lady. Oh yeah, I've already cleaned this place out in the early gameplay when I first got the Hogsmeade. Okay. I still need about 700 little gold pieces for me to buy that final upgrade for my broom. Then I can really cruise around really fast. Revelio. I see a little baggy. Little baggy. Hey, every little bit helps. Another little. Okay. Rebellion. Oh, it's you! What a pleasant surprise. Let me yeah. guess, you're after something fresh. Yeah, I'm good. Thank you. No one can say I don't keep a stack shelf. <laughs> Level three. I know there's a lot of goodies in there. All right. <sighs> Hogsmeade, here I come. Revelio. Right. I've already been to this dungeon and I've already uh, searched it. I need level three lock. Hello, kitty cat. Cat break. <sighs> Rebellion. Don't know where else to search. I think it's about to become daybreak, so... Rebellion. Yeah, it's about to be daybreak, so... Okay, so much for that.
Bummer. I guess I should fast travel back. Talk to Professor Fig. Three demigod statues left in the area for hogs need. Good to know. All right, well, we'll try again later. We'll talk to Professor Fig. Just follow the trail. I know Professor Fig's office isn't too far from here. sworn I saw a little book page. Guess not. We'll wait for Professor Fig. Oh. Professor Fig, the keepers have shown me where the next trial is. Has something changed? Lodgok and I have learned that the goblins are searching for another repository, like the one we saw at Rookwood Castle. And... I discovered that they're building massive drills to help in their search. Professor Fitzgerald seemed very concerned. I see. Ranrock clearly knows even more than we suspected. And, sir, there's something else. Lord Gok knew Miriam. He knew Miriam? They encountered each other at Rookwood Castle. She was doing research. That's where she found the container with the port key. He liked her so much that he let her leave with it, despite orders from Ranrock. I don't know what to say. She could win over almost anyone. I want to hear more of this. And, in fact, I'd like to speak with Lodgok directly. But we've no time now. Where is the next trial? Believe it or not, it's in the headmaster's office. Incredible. Very well. You'll need the password to get past the stone gargoyle. The headmaster's house elf will know it. I don't know the headmaster's house elf. Will he even speak to me? I imagine he's loyal to the headmaster. He is. So you'll need a disguise. I have just the thing. A polyjuice potion. You'll look and sound like Professor Black. Wait, doesn't polyjuice potion require a bit of the person you want to change into? And take ages to brew? It does. So how do you already have polyjuice potion to change into Professor Black? One never knows when such a thing may come in handy. Let's just say I felt the need to be prepared for anything after my fruitless trip to the Ministry on his behalf. Now, time is of the essence. Drink up and I shall explain more. How do you feel? Incredible. I won't forget that taste anytime soon. <clears throat> How do I sound? Convincing. I've taken the liberty of transfiguring your robes. As we discussed, you'll need the password from Scrope, who could be anywhere in the castle. You might look for Professor Kagawa. She's taken to badgering the poor elf about Quidditch in the hopes that he can convince Black to change his mind. Thus far, unsuccessfully. I see. But what if Professor Black sees me? Leave him to me. I shall tell him where to meet a liaison from the Ministry in Hogsmeade. That should give you plenty of time. Thank you, Professor. I suppose we'll meet again in the map chamber. It's rather strange to hear gratitude coming from Professor Black. <laughs> I'll see you there. Now to find the Headmaster's house elf.
Stand proud, purebloods. <clears throat> the future is yours. You call that a shine on those boots? Do better. I thought I heard the headmaster approaching. Has anyone seen my ivory-handled hand mirror? Well, of course. Headmaster? Yeah. What could he want? Greetings! I mean, out of my way, children. Professor, a word? Professor Black? Again, it is not too late to reconsider your decision regarding Quidditch. We... we could still have trials and a somewhat shortened season. It would be better than none at all. But the injury, Madam Kagawa. Professor! More than one student has taken a bludger to the head on our pitch. I dare say I've not some sense into them. And they're fine now. The fact that it happened to be a pure blood, well, that's no reason to... What nonsense! That you would trivialize the health of a student over a, a silly game. A silly game? I... You are quite impossible sometimes. Sir, I have a good mind to write to the Department of Magical Games and Sports at the Ministry about you. Good idea. I can even provide the parchment should you need it. Now, where is my elf? I... parchment? Very well, I will, and with pleasure. And I spotted Scrope in the Great Hall. Seems to be avoiding me. Hmm, I wonder why. Good day, Madam Kagawa. <laughs> what did we do to deserve him as a headmaster? <laughs> If uh, you must speak with me, consult my secretaries or what have you. Now move along. Get to be a prick. I wonder almost daily why I accepted Professor, I need to speak to you. Hello, Professor Black. Ah, Professor Weasley. How, how delightful to see you. Sir? Ah, uh, since I have you here, I wonder if I might, um, speak with you about Professor Fig. Oh, very well. I've decided to give him a bit more, uh, leeway with his time. Leeway, Professor? Are you sure that's wise? I confess, I do worry for his students. He's rarely here as it is. Ah, well, yes. He's handling some official ministry business for me. I see. But, sir, if I may, I am wary of how much time the new fifth year seems to be spending away from the castle, supposedly on Professor Fig's behalf. I've heard unsettling rumors of their escapades. Everything from sneaking into the Forbidden Forest to confronting Ranrock's loyalists and Rookwood's lot. Uh, what? <clears throat> Goodness. You cannot believe everything you hear, Professor. No, 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 you cannot. <clears throat> I mean, I shall keep an eye on Fig. You simply keep doing the wonderful job that you're doing. <laughs> simply wonderful. I... well, I... Um... Thank you. But I'm happy to look in. Uh, good, good. That'll be all, Weasley. I, I mean, Professor Weasley. Good day. A wonderful job. Leeway for Professor Fig. I shall never understand. That ought to give Professor Fig some breathing room. Scrope's as hard a worker as any house elf. Scrope! Oh, oh, greetings, Master. Remind me of the password to my office. Oh, but Master made Scrope swear never to tell anyone. Even Master himself. And now I'm telling you that you can tell me. Uh, uh, yes, sir. Uh, of course, sir. Uh, Scrope begs forgiveness. It is the Black Family motto, Master. Hmm. Right. Of course. I, uh... Master does remember it.
It's pure bloods forever, isn't it? Uh, uh, close, Master. Uh, Scrope thinks Master is indeed testing Scrope. It is always pure. <laughs> Obviously. And, of course, as Master knows, in French. Ah, yes, of course. Uh, I order you to pronounce it for me. Oh, but Master knows that Scrope's French is most pitiful. Oh, uh, very well. Toujours pure. Ha! Ah, thank you. Never speak of this conversation with me or anyone else. Of course, sir. Scrub shall try his best to keep out of Master's way. The Polyjuice potion's wearing off. I best get out of sight. Made it just in time. It's wearing off. Fig was right. I can't believe it worked. Now to speak the password to the gargoyle. Gargoyle. That's where I need to speak the password. Toujours pure. I wonder if all the elite wizarding families have a motto. Rebellion. Mora. Okay. It's good to see you. All thanks to Professor Fig's quick thinking. Now what? Approach the pedestal in the antechamber and read the book that appears. I suspect there will be more to this than reading a book. Your suspicions are correct. We shall speak when you are finished. 
Has this been under that master's nose all this time? That must be the pedestal. Revelio. All right. Let's go up here real quick. Interesting. That's always good. Where am I? Professor Fitzgerald? Can you hear me? I am here. In this place, you may call me Leave. You shall be witness to a fable. Pay attention. Things are not always as they seem. You must move swiftly and cautiously. Use the tools you encounter to find me. In this place as in life, death takes many forms. Avoid each of them at all costs. Oh, that's creepy. I need to time this just right. I'd best move while I can. Neve must be here somewhere. I need to time this just right. Okay, stuck. Yeah, I glitched. I see a staircase straight ahead.
ladder. Perhaps they won't be able to find me if I go up there. That's a lot of them. Okay, parkour. Too many. I must cross this road as fast as I can. That's where I need to go, but I need to find a way past them. Oh, I get spotted. my chance. I'm coming, Neve. Too many. I must cross this road as fast as I can. That's where I need to go, but I need to find a way past them. my chance. see me at all. I can get closer to them. Well, but don't come into contact. This is the way forward. Finally free. Now where are you, Neve? Have yet to find me. Keep searching, but well, this time you will be unable to hide. Wield well, the one you see before you. Do not squander its extraordinary power.
Okay, I can't select any other spells. Depulsa! Bombarda! Alright. Oh, yeah. Let's see, challenges. Nice, nice. Neat at that, actually. Okay. for ancient magic now. Oh, nice. Nice, nice. I'm gonna need all this. them all. Revelio. Bombarda. Descender. Defender. Depulsor. Bombarda. Magic is getting stronger. Rebellion. It's a hostile right there. Well, another way of preventing this, no doubt. Oh, something even worse. I. Thank you. 
<laughs> hey, doggos. What's over here? Interesting. I definitely use more of those. In fact, now my inventory is full of healing potions. Or Wigan Well. Uh, me. Full inventory, that's always good. Alright. Here we go. I'm only gonna let me have those spells for the fight. Window. 
Charge up that ancient magic. Rebellion. Okay, I still got 21 health potions. Can only use this selection of magic. And From finished, pass through the mourners. Of She's gone. Neve's dead. Dear sweet Neve. <laughs> Neve. May her memory be a treasure to us forever. Sup, Death? But you cannot undo what has been done. The magic of the stone can only conjure a shadow of my former self. But there is no light without shadow as there is no shadow without light. Simply because you can eliminate darkness does not always mean that you should. Oh, that's cool. Remember that as you witness my memory. What you did for your father was remarkable, wasn't it? And Percival needn't worry about the strands of emotion or the traces that this magic leaves. I found a way to contain all of it. You haven't stopped. Goblin Silver. You spoke to a goblin about this. 
Don't worry, he has no idea what we're containing. We don't know what effect any of this may have. The emotions, the dark traits... You sound like Percival. And as it happens, I do know. It is a source of strength, of focus. Somehow it enhances my ability to wield magic. I don't follow, Isadora. I think we can harness it. Power like this is not to be toyed with in the wrong hands You saw again. what I did for my father. Oh, imagine the good we could do. Everyone is in some kind of pain. What are you doing? Breathe it in. Oh, can you feel it? Oh, it's Adora. This must stop. All of us. You've kept this power to yourselves for so long because you fear it. I choose to embrace it. Revelio. Is it true? Has someone completed the first three trials? It is, and I have. But you are so... Young? I know. You must be Professor Bacar. I am. Pleased to meet you. The pensive memory I just witnessed was Isadora inhaling painful emotions. She was. I was amazed to see that it seemed to give her some sort of power and that she could harness it. But how? I worry that you seem more intrigued than repulsed. I hesitate to reveal the location of my pensive to someone who, perhaps, has yet to understand the responsibility of power. I can assure you, Professor, I do. In fact, what you don't yet know is that a dangerous goblin called Ranrock has accessed the repository at Rookwood Castle. He has learned to harness the contents of it as a source of immense power. He plans to use that power against wizardkind. We have no time to waste. I see. Nonetheless, the knowledge you shall gain after you witness my memories is too valuable to share without further consideration. I shall require time to confer with the other Keepers. It seems we have no choice but to wait, frustrating as it is. I heard what you told Professor Bakar. Isadora was inhaling emotions to gain power? She was. And she pulled emotions, as she did from her father, from Professor Fitzgerald without permission. Monstrous. What's more, she said that she found a way to store the traces of magic she extracted in goblin silver. The repositories? Possibly. There's something I didn't get a chance to tell you earlier. Ranrock has been digging at locations tied to the five names he found in the journals of a goblin metal worker named Bragball. Five names? The Keepers, and who else? Isadora Morganak? Precisely. That's how he's been one step ahead of us. Gringotts, the Tower, Rookwood Castle. If the Keepers won't tell you where the next trial is yet, I say we at least maintain a watch on Ranrock. Perhaps he'll lead us to more information. Perhaps. I hope to hear from Lodgok soon. I haven't heard anything since I learned of the drills. Oh, and as you've probably guessed by now, your Polyjuice plan worked like a charm. I knew it would. I may have done too good a job distracting Black. I had no idea he can't hold his fire whiskey. Hmm. 
Well then, let's see. Oh, yeah, well, let's, you know what? Let's go talk with that guy, see how I many I shouldn't have reacted so bitterly about your goblin friend. I apologize. I hope we can finish what we started with the triptych. Please meet me at the southern coast. We can search for the final canvas piece. Something from Professor Weasley, but it did play the message. Hello, Mr. Moon. Oh, greetings, huh? Any luck removing some more of those demiguy statues? I actually have some moons for you. We're getting close, uh, but you must bring me more before I can teach you how to improve casting Alahamora. Sure, no problem. I'll keep an eye out for more demiguy statues and see if I can bring you more moons. I commend you for your courage and valor. So what was it from Professor Weasley? Because it did play the message. Off on another adventure, are we?
That relic is the key to saving Anne. I know it. Meet me outside of Feldcross as soon as you can. I received your owl. Thank you. I'm glad you came. I spotted droves of Ranrock's loyalists coming up from the coast. Overheard one of them say they're headed to another cavern, like the one we found. How are they still one step ahead of us? They can't know about the triptych. I don't know. I did see another memory. This time, it was a keeper named Neve Fitzgerald. She was unnerved by Isadora's use of ancient magic. But I still can't be sure how any of it connects to Ranrock. These keepers are playing games with you. You need to press them for more information. It doesn't work like that. To access each of these memories, I have to complete a trial. It's not as easy as you think. They're showing me the memories in a particular order. They... Oh, either they don't trust you, or you don't care enough about Anne to ask the difficult questions. Uh... I do care about Anne, but I'm tired of explaining myself. Perhaps we should part ways. That's... that's not what I meant. I... We're just not getting answers. I need answers. For Anne. I know. Now, shall we see why the triptych led us here? Let's go, quickly, before we're spotted. Keep a close eye out. I saw some of Ranrock's crew moving off the path just ahead. I wonder why. Raiding, I imagine. This mountain used to safeguard local hamlet valuables. But it's been abandoned ever since Ranrock took hold of the coast. Ranrock's loyalists deserve the same fate. Nice work. Thestrals overhead? Some consider them a bad omen. Hmm. Not everyone does. I know that. All right. I'm making small talk. I'm not going to trek up this mountain in silence. I bet the Thestral Nest's close by. <laughs> I'm sorry we can both see Thestrals. Certainly not something I'd hoped we'd have in common. Okay, I know this. Tremendo. Check. Alright, that one's good. Okay, I think 
that now matches. That one's good. Should be another one close by. Um. Alright. Let's see. That one's good. Yeah, there should be a third one close by. Ah, it's up there. Let's go get this one done too. Trespass. Wait, we should have some sort of plan. Screw it. Let's you will regret coming here. Ah! you thinking? I was thinking about dead goblins. You could have got us killed. But I didn't. Alright. Looks like Branrock's loyalists were heading further up the path. Let's keep going. Rebellion! Actually needed more of those. Ramrock's gonna make everyone pay. Anything made from goblin silver belongs to us. Whether it's a sword or a repository, whatever that is. Did you hear that goblin? Ridiculous notions of ownership. Oh, 
Ranrock's loyalists deserve the same fate. Nice work. Well, well, well. What's... I agree. Only good wizards are dead wizard. Ranrock's got that right. And I'll be most keen to help him achieve his goals in that regard. suddenly so cautious listen to me I know you're angry and frustrated but charging ahead now could undo all the progress we've made Lord Gok said oh your goblin friend stop it that's enough not all goblins are like Ranrock I am not the enemy we want the same thing to find answers I thought we wanted the same thing we do listen to me Lord Gok has insights into Ranrock that we don't. He told me that Ranrock somehow knows about the Keepers and is searching anywhere connected to each of them. That's why they always seem to be one step ahead. I know what I'm doing. You need to trust me, or I don't see that we can continue together. Fine, fine. I'm sorry. I'm letting my emotions get the better of me. And I have been for a while. Oh, I do okay. trust you. And I don't think I can help Anne without you. Good. Ranrock clearly knows more than we thought. We need to be careful and do this right, not just go charging in. We have our work cut out for us. We need to work together if we're going to find the final piece to the triptych. Agreed. than a job and all. It won't be long now before we find another repository. Spiders. I won't be taking that. Revelio. Hmm. This one seems to be a dead end. With the time will submit to us. Enter the caverns. This has to be it, so let's go. Revenio. Well. This is the light, so let's try to find a different route. Revenue. We'll freeze those two. Okay, 
Ranrock's loyalists deserve the same fate. Nice work. Okay, this way. I guess I just found a side route of treasure. Interesting. So, how's everyone's day going? I hope y'all doing good. So far, so good. Charming. Spiders. How fitting. Confringo! I shall sleep better tonight. Got all that stuff for alchemy. I'm gonna be stocked up on potions. Gonna have a ridiculous amount of potions. Oh, Thank you. These spiders are determined to make a meal of us. I'm sure we taste better than a goblin dinner. Staircase leading here. Whatever for. I don't think anyone's been here for ages. I've got enough money now to upgrade my broom. Good for you. This place. Not really my style. A bit much, if you ask me. Rock and roll! Glacius! 
We should search for runes. Aha! Good for you. One, two. We've seen rune symbols like these before. Revelio. Can't get out of here quick enough. Topped off on healing potions. Always important. Boss fight. Oh boy. Jeez. Here we go. like an angry troll to bring friends together. Thank you. 
kind of journal. <laughs> we couldn't jump high enough to reach that ledge if we tried. Did you find something? A journal entry. Isadora was here. Wingardium Leviosa. of breath after all of those stairs but the view well worth it Revelio these look incredibly suspicious to me yeah I don't like that another barrier we can blast through so I don't doubt it Good news? This journal entry sounds worrisome. Confringo! Uh, almost as good as if I'd done it myself. Oh, really? What's stopping you? <laughs> All right, you're the NPC. This place can't have belonged to only Isadora. The triptych pointed us here. Find out where they all are. One, two. Where's the third one? Another rune symbol. Seems as if I should be fluent in runic language by now. Oh, hello. Good bring up. So. Isadora must have honed her skill with ancient magic here. <sighs> Ooh, she's starting to let power go to her head. Doing the right thing. I know from the memories I've seen that the Keepers and Isadora didn't see eye to eye on the use of ancient magic. I wish you could see one of her memories. Okay. Uh, this is getting to be suspicious. Let's hit save. There we go. Rebellion. Yeah, she's starting to lose her stuff. The final canvas piece to the triptych. We've done it. Isadora should not have had to keep all this secret. I know from the memories I've seen that the Keepers and Isadora didn't see eye to eye on the use of ancient magic. But I don't understand why she seems to have gone to such great lengths to tell her story without their knowledge. I wish you could see one of her memories. So do I. Perhaps completing the triptych will shed more light on Revelio. Take him money. And now that funny wall is highlighted. Let's go see what's in here. All right, Undercroft. I cannot believe the journey this triptych took us on. Well, this is it. Don't keep me in suspense. Go on, place it. Huh. 
another pensive. This is what we've been chasing. I wonder... What is it? Let's find out. Isadora, we are all most intrigued to hear. We're ready. I've something to show you. Father, these are my colleagues from Hogwarts. Father hasn't spoken since my brother died. On my travels, I confirmed that which I've always believed. That we have the power to take away pain. Problem is, in her journals, I know I didn't read them out loud. She was starting to sound more unhinged. Isadora. Did indeed. Of course it did. It's gobble and silver. I need something much bigger. All right. It would help if you could tell me more about what it is you're storing. Magic. Left over from a spell I devised to remove pain, but if used correctly, its power can be used to do even more good. Why would you want to store such magic away? I only need to keep it safe until I can convince my colleagues of its worth. Magic like this unnerves them. Well, everyone's ready to wield such power. Perhaps not. Someone will be. She took away the pain. I knew it. I knew there was a way to help Anne. Something isn't right, Sebastian. What do you mean? You saw what she did. No, not the memories, the portrait. I, I think the reason Isadora hasn't appeared is because she can't. I don't follow. We have seen that view before. The abandoned home in Felgroth, the destroyed painting, it was her. So someone destroyed a bit of enchanted canvas, but we found the memory. Yes, yes, you're right. We saw what she wanted us to see. We saw what she could do, what you can do. But I don't know how to do what Isadora did. Well, then you shall learn. The Keepers can teach you. I'm not sure that they would. The Keepers believe that removing someone's ability to feel pain... It's a highly complicated, unpredictable form of magic. One that should be wielded with great care. If at all. If at all? You've overcome all of their challenges. You've more than proven yourself. You can wield it. You have the ability. Please. Talk to the Keepers. If not for me, then, then for Anne. He means well. He really does. Uh, 
I'm afraid there's Why did the Keepers want to keep Isadora quiet? Why destroy her portrait? Yeah, that is a good question. within the walking distance. Sebastian, a lost relic from a catacomb which requires a dark sacrifice. I know how it sounds, but if this can help you, it's worth the risk. Does Ominous know about this? He helped find the scriptorium where we discovered Slytherin's spellbook. Very well. If Ominous will be there, I'll meet you. We don't have much time. Solomon wants to leave Veldcroft. What? Leave? Never mind. You need to stall him. Buy us time, Anne. Please. I shall do my best. I'll be in touch. Solomon can't take Anne from Feldcroft. Where would they go? When would I see her? Sebastian, I can't believe my uncle wants to leave Feldcroft. Anne's going to stall him. She must. We need time. Time? For what? I've learned more about the relic. I cross-referenced Slytherin's spellbook with everything in the library on relics and dark sacrifices. That's when I realized something. I believe the relic will only work inside the catacomb. So we have to get Anne to the catacomb and then conduct a sacrifice? Seems... risky. It'll be worth the risk. Our biggest hurdle may be convincing Ominous. Anne will only give this a chance if he's on board. And we have to keep all of this from your uncle. If he goes to the Headmaster, well, he could be expelled. Let me handle Ominous this time. As for my uncle, he's not an Aura anymore. What he doesn't know, well, won't hurt us. Um... Do you think your uncle would tell anyone at the Ministry about all of this if he found out? If he found out, I doubt he'd go to the Ministry. He didn't part ways with them well, from what I understand. He won't say, but I believe his strong aversion to dark magic has something to do with his time there. Anne thinks he once decided to fight fire with fire, so to speak, and resorted to using an unforgivable curse and fight against dark wizards. At least that's what she thought she heard. When he realized what his job had led him to become, he left rather abruptly, so I'm not sure he'd go to the Ministry to report on his own family using dark magic now. Uh... Good luck with Ominous. Until we meet again. I shall let you know when the four of us should meet at the catacomb. Look for my owl. See you soon. I'm not liking how this is turning out. Revelio. Oh, strong enemy. One less shoot. Let's 
see. Inventory. I need 210 more gold for me to buy that upgrade. Uh-huh. That's enough. I wonder if I can do that shopping trip I intended to do. Unidentified. Okay. Let's go to map. Let's sell the goods at Hogsmeade. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? What are you up to now? I beg your pardon. My plan is to have enough galleons one day that I could... Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. I've heard that our dear Clementine drew you into her butterfly escapades. Unusual girl. Still, it takes all sorts. Okay, cool. I can buy the uh, upgrade for my you have a sharp eye for fashion. room that I want. Be sure to stop by whenever you're about. So let's get that. I think it's down this way. There's the main bar. Rebellion. Which way was that room? This I crushed him. You're back. Nice to see you again. What are we looking for today? The last upgrade, please. I truly enjoyed working with you. Thank you for believing in me. You're welcome. Okay, what is the next mission? Nice to see you, my young friend. Yeah, I'll be taking that. I've never seen a sword like it. Whoa, hello. Be inside already. <sighs> or he's been captured. <laughs> Search. Look at the size of this mine. Something seems wrong. This place is teeming with Ranrock's loyalists. I have to keep my wits about me. I was only following orders. Leave your accusations in someone else's direction if you don't. This cart ought to get me deeper into the mine. Just like Gringotts, but I'm in the driver's seat this time. 
How deep will this take? Red Rob's gonna be pleased with our progress. Who was on that car? That has to be the end up ahead. Would you please meet with me in the Great Hall? I have come upon a difficult time and I need a friend. Are you familiar with the hamlet of Byendale? It's south of the castle. I think the cave that Doran wanted us to find is near there. Tearing them up. That is one tough goblin. Better to get on one of those than try to jump across. <laughs> watch that step. <laughs> Better watch that step.
and duke it out for a bit. Dang, I that. won't rest until you're dead. <laughs> Mistake this. Let them duke it out for a while. Lock. I don't have that. Enjoy suffering, do ya? We'll reclaim what is rightfully ours. So let them duke it out. will be
Character is still in play. Yeah, he is. Dang, he is one tough cookie. That's for sure. He's been really good at picking off everybody else. Mind a plum job at Gringotts. Suit me sitting around all day.
Where does this one lead? Off the beaten path, I suspect. Incendio should be enough to light these flames. I already did I it. hope I can get to Ranrock before Loggog does. Another drill is complete. The wizarding world will prosper. <laughs> I can end this right now. I have to destroy the drill and stop Ranrock's loyalists.
Next time I see Fig or that student, I'll give them what they deserve. Goblins will finally rule over wizards. drill. Transmutation? I mean... No. Accio! Defendo! Bombada! That worked? Cause the 
Hi. That is unfortunate. No matter. We will build another. I found this one lurking outside. Lord Gok. Come to make amends, little brother. I came to stop this. What is this you've brought me? sought only to use you. You're wrong, Ranrock. The young ones are especially deceitful. They are taught to hide their disgust for us as they exploit us. Astonishing that our ancestors ever trusted each other. All this time, looking everywhere for the final repository, searching in vain for Bragmore's last journal. Wasted my time chasing a child. And my little brother knew where it was all along. But now, I don't need you. I don't need any of you. I was bringing it to you. You are a traitor to our kind! No! Above the Cadabra! Well, their alliance is broken. That's good for me. Oh, oh I'm God. playing it on the uh, PC. Dead by his brother's hand. No wonder he tried so hard to reason with him. Now to get out of this blasted place. Yeah, I'm playing this on PC. So I had to wait a few days before I could play it. You know, because the uh, people who had it on uh, PS5 got a little bit of a head start to I'll play this game. I'll send word to Fig to meet me in the map chamber. He and the Keepers need to know Ranrock has that journal and knows where the final repository is. travel yet. Huh. Oh, okay. Well, I don't want to uh, spoil too much. So my character got sorted into House Ravenclaw. The uh, jacket or the uh, robe I'm wearing is the specific house uh, coat. You earn this by finding things around Hogwarts Castle. Each house has a different special uh, uniform. It's just a cosmetic. All right? It doesn't like enhance any of your current equipment set you're already wearing. 
It's just there for the good looks. I'm playing on a gaming PC, one that I just pieced together. Um, in order to learn how to play a Star Citizen, which is the uh, game that I normally stream on this channel, I had to have a high-end uh, uh, gaming computer. And, well, I learned a lot about computer hardware, software, and all that good stuff. So, I basically took an old computer and made it into a really nice gaming computer. Deke has some exciting news to share. Hello, Deke. Professor Weasley said you had an idea. Indeed, Deke does. Uh, Deke knows that you yeah. want to learn about all Here's sorts your time of beasts. This game, and Deke, Deke just uh, recently heard purchased it. Of a phoenix nest in a nearby um, mountain. I did a release a video nest. on how to open the certain kinds of doors. It'll be really useful for you in the early after. game. Deke would not doubt it. If so Deke when you first start up and you get to Hogwarts well, and you first get sorted into your house, be in danger. you can move around the school and you can solve the door puzzles and get really insanely powerful starting gear. Get you started off right. Well, I'd better go and rescue it then, hadn't I? Indeed, think so. Yeah, just look under so the video section of my channel. Such vile um, like I say, I mostly play sure Star why. Citizen, you know, but spaceship games and mech Phoenix games, but to make amends for what I'm with really Deke's enjoying Iron taking Master. a break from that and playing Deke this. that you are able to find the Phoenix and bring it to the room where it will be safe. Okay, let's go rescue a phoenix. Or get melted into a pile, or get torched into a pile of ash. Whichever happens first. Alright, ooh, grab that. Okay. Get this utility spill up and running. Let us... Put all we can put in here. There we go. That's the last one. Nice. Herbology table. Large potting table with two plants. Check. All right, let's complete my uh, lab here. Oh yeah, oh. I was just going down memory lane. I remember when the original Wing Commander was a brand new game. And when I saw Privateer was on sale at GOG Games, I just had to get it. You understand. So I just went down memory, memory lane with that one. Looks like I've gotten all of the functional stuff for my own personal uh, lab. Do you remember the Room of Requirements in the Order of the Phoenix? Where the uh, kids practice dueling when Dark Arts was outlawed? This is the same thing, but 100 years earlier. In my character's case, he joined Hogwarts as a fifth year student. And he has to catch up on five years worth of school as well as run all these missions. So I've got myself like the ultimate wizard's lab. Everybody sets this up a little differently from each other. I just use what works for me. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm huge into the whole science fiction type games. I love Mech Warrior. I love just about anything that's a space sim. Um, I love a lot of your classic DOS games from the 90s. As well as new games. I'm just an all-around gamer. 
I'm old enough to remember NES when it was brand new. And I was a wee little, little kid when Atari was the best thing there was. Ooh, TIE Fighter. Now that's a great one. Nice. I only played it a teeny tiny bit. I just haven't done the proper playthrough of it. Another one of my favorite space sims that not a lot of people know about is, uh, let me see, not just free uh, Freelancer, I played that one to death, Free Space, number one and number two, by the same company that made Descent, uh, Free Space is a great one. Oh, looks like that's all I can get for now. Let's see. Anne's worried. She said Sebastian promised her that I would be there if she went to meet him in the catacomb. But now he's asking her to join him immediately and to come alone. She says he doesn't sound himself. Meet us at the catacomb as soon as you can. I hope that my quill has conveyed my message clearly. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh... Oh, they were good. They were ahead of their time. Incredibly difficult, but incredibly good. Um, had an actual uh, good story and everything. Okay. Better hit a manual save before I make any big story decisions. Yeah, so thank you for subscribing. Oh, Ace! Good to see ya! How have you been, man? So this is my other screen. This is where I check my chat on YouTube. Let's see what's going on. Yeah, so I was big in a console game during the 80s and early to mid 90s. After the mid 90s and beyond, I got really big into PC gaming. And then I kind of just switched between console and PC. Oh. I was supposed to meet here. Uh, quests. Catacombs. Okay, map. Catacombs. World map. Looks rather dark in there. Never stopped me before. Okay. We're about to finish a really dark part of the game. And looks like I had better choose my words and actions very carefully. Well, let's let's get to talking. Sebastian has gone too far. You saw what lies in the catacomb. I cannot stay here. Wait, Anne, please. Ominous. He was willing to put the whole hamlet and himself in danger on the chance that some old relic could help to heal me. I'm sorry, Ominous. 
Make sure he's all right, will you? I'm glad you're here. I received your owl. Where's Sebastian? Inside the catacomb. Frankly, I was surprised you weren't with him. Ominous, I... Stop. You swore you wouldn't let Sebastian take this one step further. Yet here we are. It's my fault. I was wrong. I thought he'd stop. I should have stopped him before. Sebastian's in real trouble now. I'm going back into the catacomb to find him. Anne's right. He and the entire hamlet are in danger. The place is crawling with Inferi. Inferi? What are you talking about? You'll see. We need to hurry. Sebastian must not be in his right mind. Oh boy. I know how to deal with them. Lots of fire magic. Lots of fire. Okay. Fire, fire. There we go. That's how you deal with the uh, Last undead. Time over here, this place was crawling with spiders. We're about to face worse. Let's find Sebastian quickly. Where was Sebastian when you and Anne found him? Just ahead, in the great room. Bombarda! Fring! Confringo! Incendio! Let me answer! Look better! Before. And there's no sign of Sebastian. Confringo. Bombarda. Confringo. And enjoy your playthrough of this game. I don't want to spoil too much for you. Good for you. Let's just say they put a lot of love and effort into this game. And you should definitely just take your time and enjoy this one. Hold on a moment. I was so worried about Sebastian I didn't even realize. Anne's gone to get Solomon. When she first saw the Inferi, she thought Sebastian was being attacked. But then he showed her the relic and said he'd learned how to use it. The carvings on the relic were in theory, and Sebastian somehow created them. Not exactly. He's controlling them. This is powerful dark magic. Creating in theory is incredibly difficult, but controlling them... As Anne and I frantically barricaded the in theory to keep them from escaping, Sebastian kept mumbling about healing Anne. When Anne said she couldn't stay here, I didn't realize what she meant. Solomon threatened to go to the headmaster if he heard of Sebastian dealing with dark magic. I need to get to Hogwarts. I must get to Professor Black first. Twist the story a bit, make him think it's a family fight. I'll be back as soon as I can. See if you can talk some sense into Sebastian. Be careful. Yeah. How many inferior are there? 
Sebastian, where are you? These inferi seem far from controlled. Sebastian. There he is. I see you, Sebastian. <laughs> Revelio. talk. We need to talk. Isn't this incredible? Sebastian, I told you. The relic is the answer. I've been trying to reverse the dark magic that injured Anne, but this will allow me to control it. Just as I can control the Inferi. Control? I had to fight the Inferi all the way. What have the two of you done? Accio Relic! The Relic! You'll pay for this! Let me 
Fight each other. I Incendio. Sad. I must get out of here. I can't let him leave. Sebastian, wait! Stop, Sebastian. 
Hold on. So sad. All right. What is it? Why wouldn't you stop? I was calling after you. Anne won't survive this. She's withering away, inside and out. Solomon's never been there for us, not really. He gave up on her. I'll never give up on her. You saw him, didn't you? He was going to ruin her life. He attacked us. I... I had to use the killing curse. No, you, know you didn't. I did. If I hadn't known how to cast it... You went too far, Sebastian. I... I can't think right now. I need to leave. I can't stay here. I need to find Ominous. Sebastian. Please, I'm not myself right now. Let's meet later at the Undercroft, all right? I wondered if you might teach me how to cast that curse you mentioned. Oh, which one? I'd like to learn how to cast the killing curse. After all that's happened? Very well. You need to be precise with your wand movement. The incantation is a Vada Kedavra. Are there any other curses you'd like to learn? That's all I wanted to learn for now. Thank you. Of course. You're the only one with whom I would entrust such knowledge. Let's speak again soon. He killed his uncle, though. I'm not sure what I did to deserve that. That's sad. That's sad.
there's Natty. Some days I'm not. Natty, is everything all right? <sighs> there are times when my father's absence drifts to the back of my mind. And I feel peace for a day or two. But this is not one of those times. I miss him. I miss running with him. I miss Matty Belliland. He should still be here. And it's my fault that he isn't. You need to stop blaming yourself. It's not your fault, Matty. There's nothing you could have done to prevent it. That is what my mother says. But he died protecting me. And I cannot help but feel guilty uh, over that. Survivor skill, got it. I find myself relieving the moment more often than I would like. I believe I would feel less helpless if I could truly put an end to Harlow and the rest of Rookwood's miserable oh, lot. Oh, I'll do it. Don't Each day they remain free, they do more damage, leaving people like Archie Bickle to suffer the consequences. I agree, Natty. We'll get them. I've never seen someone so committed to a cause. Thank you. I believe we will get them. Beginning with Harlow. Thank you for speaking with me. It was very helpful. No good. I hope Professor Fig got my owl. I need to tell him and the keepers that Ranrock knows where the last repository is. According to the owl I received, Ranrock is moving more quickly than we could have anticipated. This is grave news indeed. We had hoped for more time to discuss the best path forward. Let us hear what the student has to say. Professor, you received my owl. Ranrock has the last of Bragbor's journals. He killed Lodgok to get it. He knows where the last repository is. Godric's heart! Lodgok... Lodgok and Ranrock were brothers. Lodgok was bringing the journal to me. Ranrock is a monster. We need to know where the final repository is. Surely this changes things. Ranrock has Bragbor's journals and knows where the final repository is. We obliviated Bragbor. He kept journals? Why would he have documented all of this? He didn't know what we were containing. Isadora told Bragbor about the magic when she asked him to build a container for her. I've seen her memories. Isadora left memories for someone to find? You know what she did? Her memories showed what she did for her father, which I also saw in Professor Rookwood's pensive, and a conversation with Bragbor in which she expressed frustration about the limits being placed on her use of ancient magic. Based upon the memories they have seen, I believe our young friend is well aware of the grave circumstances in which we find ourselves. The next trial will involve an exceptional level of magical skill and a nuanced ability to interact with beasts. Find a face of stone and tendrils. I should advise you that you must engage with any beast that is part of the trial on your own. Professor Bakar will meet you in his pensive room. An exceptional level of magical skill? Nuanced ability to interact with beasts? Hmm. 
I suppose we should begin our search for a face of stone and tendrils, whatever that may be. Very well. Professor Weasley has been keeping an eye on me. Perhaps we should meet there, so she has no reason to raise concerns with Professor Black. I shall see you near the coast. Perhaps then you can tell me a little more about the memories of Isadora that you witnessed. Thanks, y'all, for hanging out with me on this beautiful Friday. I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. Fair in a little place like this. All right. Oh, got some people flying some kites. Phoenix, dragon. Not sure what those two kites are supposed to be. Oh, crocodile head. I'm not sure. This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. You're here. I have good news. We do not have any of Ranrock's loyalists to contend with. Of course, the bad news is that it's likely because they no longer need to track the Keepers for information. Revelio. Good bring them. Is that a... it is. I believe I know what must be done. Hmm. Do you recognize the head sculpted there? That's a head. I can't say that I do. It appears to be a fearsome beast known as a graphorn. And the prints carved into the ground lead me to believe that a graphorn will somehow open the way forward. That's what Professor Rackham meant when he spoke of my needing an ability to interact with beasts. It would seem so. I do know that the last of a long dynasty of Graphorns lives nearby. They call him the Lord of the Shore. I suspect you'll need to bring him here. What happens next, I can't say. Have you ever subdued a Graphorn, Professor? I have, yes. Years ago, at Stonehenge, of all places. The Ministry still owes me for that favor. It can be difficult, of course. They are massive, after all. But it's not impossible. It's my experience that many of your spells will have no real effect. You'll need to wear him down. If that's what must be done, I'll do it. Excellent. I know this area well enough. When you see the remains of a large sea creature, you're in the right place. Now, Professor Rackham made it clear that you must engage with any beast that is part of this trial on your own. So I shall wish you good luck and wait for your return in the map chamber. Rebellion. Is 
This looks in all grades I feel the more. Well, that definitely looks. This must be the place. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Very well, Lord of the Shore. Show yourself. Oh, look at that thing. your help, friend. Oh, guys. Nice. <laughs> oh, that's awesome.
What say we pick up the pace a bit? Awesome. I need to race now, my friend. That's awesome. Punches. Let's see how the Lord of the Shore feels about his neighborhood being invaded. <laughs> Was that meant to be an attack of some sort? That goblin elm, you feel I'll want that back now. Come bring us! That's the best you can do. <laughs> Days are over. Faster. Let's roll. It'll take more than this to stop the Lord of the Shore. Basically, have a battering ram. We're crossing little... that bridge whether you like it or not. I'll check your pockets up here today. Time for you all to clear out. Okay, this music has a very similar vibe to How to Train Your Dragon. Slow down now. There we go. That's awesome. right in. Awesome. Perhaps Professor Rockham was right to have had faith in you. I still have my reservations. Isadora, as you will see, was not who she seemed. I can only hope that you are. My memories should answer any questions you may have about the power you will need to protect. Thank you, Professor Bakar. I shall see you back in the map chamber. Rebellion. 
Any hidden treasure chests in the corner of the room? Because we know that this ga game greatly rewards exploration. Yeah, okay. Hello? Is it Ora? Is it Ora? Extracting his pain. She's extracting the, extracting the very piece of his soul. Son, I'm glad you're here. Isadora was not at her home. I know. Her father. First of all. What is it? It is as though he was stripped not only of his pain, but of all emotion. Everything is much worse than I feared. Neve was right. Isadora hasn't stopped. I've just learned that she has been wielding that magic on students. Yo. We must gather the others. Isadora, set down your wand. Professor, you taught me to hone my power, not throw it away. I did not teach you this. Expelliarmus! <laughs>
Revelio. That's sad. The caverns below Hogwarts, where you fought Isadora. Is that the location of the final repository? It is. You see, we could not destroy the strands of emotion Isadora had stolen from so many. So we did all that we could to keep them safe. We also realized that until they could be destroyed, the magic used to create them was a danger to wizard kind. Hence, we became keepers. Keepers of an unfathomable secret. We knew that someday, one with the ability to see traces of ancient magic might be seduced by its power. We built the trials to lead that person to us, to allow them to prove themselves worthy of the knowledge we'd kept hidden and the responsibility that accompanies it. Have I not proven myself, Professor? I need to get to that repository before Ranrock does. You have, and you will. But the repository is protected by powerful ancient magic. To enter, you must craft a special wand from the four artifacts you found above our pensives. So the repository is safe from Ranrock for now. If he is, as you suspect, capable of using the power of the other repository, I fear he will be able to breach our defenses. Then I must go now and craft this wand. Perhaps Mr. Ollivander will help me. Another Ollivander? I'm not surprised, as I am sure he will tell you. This wand may be used for only one purpose. Return with the wand, and we will open the way forward. I shall send an owl ahead to Ollivander. Whilst you visit him, I'll reach out to Professor Weasley. Professor Weasley? Yes. I may have made an error in judgment by not informing her of Ranrock's intentions earlier. I only hope it's not too late. If Ranrock really is going to try to drill below Hogwarts, we'll need all the help we can get. All right, Professor. I'll see you soon. Okay, Hogsmeade. Hmm. There's Ollivander's. I hope he can help me craft the Keeper's Wand. Hello, Mr. Ollivander. I wondered if you might be able to help me with something. Good to see you, my young Ravenclaw friend. Allow me once again to express my family's gratitude. They were pleased to learn that the wand Richard Jackdaw disappeared with those many years ago had been located, even if it was somewhat unusable. Glad to hear it. Now, I received an owl from Eleazar, uh, Professor Fig. He was a bit cryptic, said you need to have a special wand crafted, that you'd bring me the materials. Yes, sir. 
I have them here. Oh, my. How extraordinary. Remarkable design. I will be honest, I have never crafted a wand in this fashion. Repaired broken wands, of course, but this is something else entirely. Keeping me on my toes, aren't you? I think I can work with what you've brought me. Let me see what I can do. It is done. I should warn you, I've never seen a wand like this before. My suspicion, as Professor Fig implied in his letter, is that it serves a unique purpose. I doubt you shall find much use for it otherwise. I understand. Thank you, sir. I'm afraid you're on your own. I've ensured that we have a moment to ourselves. Oh, come, come. No need for such theatrics. In light of what Ranrock now knows, you must agree that our interests are aligned. Our interests will never be aligned. You would let goblins take what is rightfully ours? The final repository belongs to wizard kind. We would be fools not to work together. What's that you've got there? None of your business, sucker. Might this sudden visit to the wand maker have something to do with our mutual pursuit? I have no idea what you're talking about. That repository is my birthright! Charles Rookwood wouldn't have wanted you near it. <laughs> the arrogance. Should have known better than to try and reason with a child. I've always said, children should be seen and not heard. You're getting ahead of yourself. Okay, you want a dark wizard's duel, we'll have it. Okay, fine. There's that. I'll get that ready. Alright. Now. Fun with him. All right.
Okay. Expelliarmus! Bombarda! this fight, dude.
I can't believe it. Rookwood's reign is finally over. I'll need to send an Alta Natty right away. For now, though, I need to get back to the map chamber and tell Fig what happened. Rebellion. It's a treasure chest here. It Ooh, would be nice. Or it can be used. I prefer the latter. Well, well, well. Victor Rookwood is dead. He confronted me as I left Ollivander's with the Keeper's wand. I had to defend myself. Godric's heart, are you all right? I know you're well able to defend yourself. I've seen it often enough, but Rookwood himself. He got what he deserved. He would have killed me once he found the repository, if not before. I had no choice. You're right. You had no choice. You did what you had to do. The wizarding community owes you a great debt. Thank you for saying so, Professor. I'm ready for what's next. All right, then. The Keepers have been waiting. You have completed all of our trials, and you have done so under circumstances even I did not foresee. You understand now why all of this was necessary. The port key, the vault, the locket, the book, the trials. To ensure that one with the ability you and I share would make the same choice that San, Neve, Charles, and I did. Now that you have witnessed my memory, you understand all that is at stake. Not everyone is what they seem. As you know, light does not exist without shadow, nor shadow without light. Simply because you can eliminate darkness does not always mean that you should. Even the most well-meaning and competent amongst us cannot possibly know the consequences of manipulating what should be beyond our reach. What lies in the repository must never be released. Resist the temptation to destroy or control it. The magic that you have so carefully honed must now be used only to protect the secret we keep. You have the wand. You will know when to wield it. 
We leave our legacy in your hands. stock up on all those potions from my uh, potion. Yeah. Room of requirement. Let's go to there real quick. Let's brew some potions. I have a feeling I'm going to need a lot of them. Make sure I've got good. Okay, I can only carry 25 of them at a time. So let's brood. Okay. I'll pull out all the stops. I'm going to have no shortage of potions. more invisibility. Alright, so 20 seconds. Please meet me as soon as possible. I received an interesting owl from Joanna Bickle about Harley. <laughs> He's dead. <laughs> Okay, 
maxed out on shelters. Maxed out on mandrakes. Pick up what I can pick up. Nice. Okay. Right. Wonderful. Maxed out Thunderbrew. Focus. 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 That on the seconds. Okay, two. Okay, I think that's as good as it gets. Now that I'm completely topped off on every potion I can carry, we're fully loaded, ready for the ultimate rumble. Yeah, I had to... Uh, <laughs> some uh, potions going. I guess this is supposed to be the final uh, story level and all, so... I should hope that the enchantments protecting the castle would protect against an incursion from below. I fear they may not. Although, if they don't now, I can assure you they will in the future. Were you able to reach Professor Weasley? I was. Hopefully she and the others will arrive soon. They know where to find the door through which we entered. Oh, you look at that. I've got this. Let's go. Stop the light. If his royalists are here, he cannot be far behind. You and I have faced worse, Professor.
stands between us and him. We need to move it. I shall handle it. One moment. To Pulso! Let's go! Oh, thanks, Ace. Glad to hear you're still hanging. Yeah, I completely slaughtered. Dark Arts. Okay. Rebellion. That way. We're getting closer, Professor. That way. Somehow evaded the castle's defensive charge. Get them this way! We shall make quick work of them! Oh. They got this! Time to move. We're in the thick of it 
dachte, die Wasser hat Ein Boy, I'm in for a real fight. Here before Ranrock. No, I bet Ranrock is working. This is it. The repository has been under the castle for hundreds of years. Think of all the pain that created it. This is what Miriam, George, your friend Lodgok, and countless others died for. Miriam believed this forgotten magic could be used for such good. But she did not know the risks. She did not see what the Keepers have shown you. What Isadora showed you. You are now the Keeper of whatever power it holds. What do you intend to do with it? 
Yeah, I'm gonna contain it. I'm not screwy with it. I plan to leave the repository as it is. I'm pleased to hear that. I've been thinking. What is it, Professor? I spent all year trying to keep our journey a secret from everyone, including Professor Weasley. But now I wonder if I should have shared it with her and the others sooner. Trusted them more. Yeah, you should have. Been. The keepers wanted this secret to be locked away forever. How long will you keep it? I plan to keep it secret for now. But in time, when I'm ready, I plan to tell those I trust everything and accept their help. I believe that is what Miriam would have wanted. We should trust in others. If anyone can rise to this challenge, my friend, it is you. Awesome. God. The arrogance of wizard kind. Goblins built this repository. It belongs to us. Enough, Ranrock. It was never yours. I've been wanting to play with this. Miriam's wand. If she'd simply handed over the container, all of this could have been avoided. Foolish, self-important witch. <coughs> Seems you were two of a kind. She didn't know when to give up either. Whoa!
can't stop me.
Almost down. Had him down. Let's finish him off. This cannot be happening. You will die. This ends here, Rad Rock. You will give this to me. Places.
this channel be that way. You will die. This ends here, Radrock. Deposit. Thank you, let's stop me.
<laughs> really, that's wild. <laughs> Fig. I dare say he was a beloved professor to many of you, certainly a long-standing colleague to his peers. A famed adventurer and seeker of knowledge, he built a reputation charging into the unknown, brazenly disregarding both discretion and safety, providing perhaps a rather unfortunate lesson for us all. His devotion to adventure was rivaled only by his dedication to Hogwarts. And of course, to his wife, Mary, uh, Midi, um, whom we lost much too soon as well. Um, <clears throat> this guy's a dick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> represented the best of all of us. Oh, he could be deviously clever, possessed a brilliantly inquisitive mind, and was the most loyal of friends. But perhaps it was his remarkable courage for which we will all be forever indebted to him. If not for Professor Fig. Well, I can say with confidence that if not for him, many of us, let alone Hogwarts, would not be here today. Those that knew him best will agree that we must now honor him as only Hogwarts can, by wisely, resourcefully, Justly and bravely facing all that lies ahead. <clears throat> to Professor Fig! I can't believe we lost Fig. I didn't know him as well as you did, but I know he was a good man. Glad Weasley spoke for him. She honored him well. 
figure will be well remembered. I realize the same should be done for my uncle. I hope Anne agrees to see me. Sebastian, I can't imagine what you and Anne are going through. Perhaps you'll hear from her soon. I hope so. I, I'll let you know. Sebastian, there's something you should know. It's to do with Victor Rookwood. I heard a rumor that he confronted you outside of Ollivander's. Sounds as if he faced quite a fight. The rumors are true, and I did. But it's not that. Just before Rookwood attacked, he uttered something familiar. The same words Anne heard before she was cursed. Children should be seen and not heard. Wait! What... what are you saying? It wasn't one of Ranrock's loyalists who cursed Anne. It was Rookwood. It was Rookwood all along. This, oh, I'm glad this I splattered him. It was the loyalists. It's always been them. The night Anne was cursed, all she saw were goblins. Once Rookwood allied with Ranrock, Isadora's estate became of interest to them both. That's why Rookwood was there the night Anne was cursed. He was working with Ranrock. When he saw your sister, well, he didn't want anyone to know. So he cursed her. And she's never been the same. So cruel. Rookwood deserved what he got. Thank you for telling me. It wasn't a goblin. I suppose I owe you an apology. All this time I thought goblins were the enemy. But it was never that simple. As for what happened in the catacomb, I've not stopped thinking about it. Perhaps we could meet soon. There's much I wish to say. Okay, so the main story is over, but I can continue doing missions and quests to 100% uh, achievement. Yeah. Now I heard no matter what happens, Fig is destined to be killed in action. Congratulations, you've completed the story of Hogwarts Legacy and reached the end of the school year. With your owl exams fast approaching, it's now a good time to review your field guide progress. Explore the world. Finish any remaining relationship story lines and side quests. And complete your field guide as you see fit. Nice! I'm glad they basically let you continue. Oh yeah, I've got a whole bunch of uh, uncollected rewards. Probably should have collected them for that final fight. Yeah. Dang. So, save game. So that's it for the story quest. Now it's, I can travel around and do whatever I want. Yeah. Okay, let's go talk to Sebastian first. talk to Sebastian. He's going to have to uh, unpack a lot. He killed his uncle. <sighs> so, I don't know how I think about this. Need I remind you that you are studying at Hogwarts and not the three broomsticks? You'll never become an aura at this rate. So get your head out of your butterbeer and into a blasted wizarding book, for Merlin's sake.
she's devastated. She just buried your uncle. I did it for her. Sebastian, Anne can't bear the thought of turning you in, but... What? Turn me in? She saw what happened. I'll give you some time to think, Sebastian. Turn me in? Sebastian. Did you hear that? You saw what happened. I never wanted to hurt my uncle. I know. I can't believe he's gone. How did things go so wrong? I didn't mean it. I didn't mean to... Oh, Anne, I was only trying to help. I can't leave now. Anne needs me more than ever. You understand. You can talk to Ominous. Make him understand. He listens to you. I need you to be need with to Anne. Let go, man. Not sure about this. I don't know what to do, Sebastian. You don't know. You do know. Anne has no one. I regret everything I did. I know what I did was wrong. I only hope she can forgive me. That everyone can forgive me. No matter what happens from here, I'm glad we met. Poor Sebastian. Ominous. What a mess. I can't believe it. After I last saw you, I went straight to Hogwarts. Before I had time to talk to Black, I heard from Anne. I rushed to Feldcroft and found her with Solomon's body. She was beside herself with grief. Part of her wants Sebastian to face the consequences, another part can't bear the thought of it. I don't want to lose Sebastian, but I don't think we have a choice. Hmm. <sighs> he killed his uncle. But man, that's tough. That's a tough one. I mean, on the one hand, he was doing everything he was trying to do to help her out. But he was going about it the wrong way. And he killed his uncle. I... Oof. We don't have a choice. You're right. You were right the entire time. I wish I hadn't been. If we do this, we may never see Sebastian again. Hmm. The more I think about it, what good will it do to turn him in? He clearly regrets everything. He's not going to do anything like this again. We've both heard that before. But we also need to think about Anne. She's lost her health, now she's lost her uncle. Do you really want to take her brother away from her too? I... I understand what you're saying. Perhaps you're right. As much as I believe that Sebastian should pay for his actions, we'd only be punishing Anne as well. I hope we're doing the right thing. I'll talk to Anne. If it comes from me, she'll agree with this decision. Thank you, Ominous. You're a good friend. Whatever lies ahead, we must face it together. That I know. Man, that's such a messed up situation.
Revelio. I've thought about what you told me in the Great Hall. I would like to speak with you. Meet me in the Undercroft as soon as you can. Glad you came. Sebastian, I've received your owl. What's happened? Ominous spoke with Anne about what happened with my uncle Solomon. She believes I should pay for what I did, but she won't turn me in. She said the guilt I'll have to live with is punishment enough. I'm so sorry, but I'm glad you know that you can at least try to move on now. The thing is, I think I've lost my sister, my twin, forever. She refuses to even see me. I can't blame her. I couldn't really blame any of you if you gave up on me entirely. You all believed in me, and I let you all down. Uh. Sebastian, I'm afraid Anne may never be able to forgive you. But at least now you have a chance to change your path. I am glad for that. But I still have hopes that Anne may in time understand what happened and come to forgive me. I realize I can't undo what's been done, but I can try every day to make up for it. I owe you an ominous everything for standing by me. Well, it wasn't easy. But I believe in you, Sebastian. I've had a sense about you since that first day in Defense Against the Dark Arts. Seems so long ago. Thank you. I have no idea what's to come, but I'm grateful for your friendship. I'm glad you came to Hogwarts. Professor Weasley, you wanted to see me? I did. We haven't had a chance to speak since I know you were quite close with Professor Fig. Hogwarts won't be the same without him. No, it won't. But I can assure you that he would want us to press on, and that he would rest easy knowing that the future of the wizarding world is in hands like yours. Thank you, Professor. You've had quite a year, both inside and outside of Hogwarts. I've heard all sorts of rumors. You've ridden a Raphorn, befriended a goblin, rescued hippogriffs, even helped Mr. Ollivander track down a family wand. How did you... It's harder to keep secrets around here than one might suspect. I'm just glad you found such a good friend in Miss Oni. I think her mother shares the sentiment. While I do not condone taking matters into your own hands when it comes to men like Rookwood and Harlow, your bravery is to be commended. Thank you, Professor. I... No need to discuss it further. What I would like to discuss is your wizard's field guide. 
May I see it? Of course. What do you think, Professor? I think you've been busy this year. I see some progress here, but quite a bit of your field guide has yet to be completed. Fortunately, you do have some time to prepare for your OWLs. I will confess, I had a sense about you from that first moment you came bursting in, late, to the sorting ceremony. I am pleased to see that my instincts were correct. To think you've only been with us a year and you'll already be taking your OWLs, well, it's nothing short of astonishing. Thank you, Professor, for everything. You are most welcome. I look forward to seeing what you do during the rest of your time with us. Okay, I think this is a great place to save the game. So since I've effectively completed the main story on this save file, this counts as my playthrough for the purpose of live streaming. However, I will be playing this save file and other save files for making helpful videos in the future for new and returning players just to kind of give back along with uh, some other projects I'm working with Star Citizen. So, thank you for watching today. Thanks for being here. I greatly appreciate it. It's the start of a good weekend. I hope yours is wonderful. So, until next time, happy gaming everyone and take care.